Good morning, everybody. Having my coffee with my Pike Place Market mug. Um, this particular Starbucks mug, you can only go to one particular Starbucks store, which is the one in Seattle at Pike, Pike Place Market. Most mugs are city mugs, and you can buy them pretty much at any Starbucks in whatever city. Like the Seattle mug, you can buy at any Seattle Starbucks. But this one, you actually have to wait in line at what I call the Mecca. It's the Mecca. It's the first Starbucks and still the, the most uh, visited. And here, because I'm showing you trinkets, this is normally up there. This I purchased at the, uh, the Starbucks. There was a street artist uh, across the street who is uh, a painter. And he took this as a photo and then he had it, uh, he had it turned into a painting. But uh, this is the front of that Starbucks on at Pike Place Market, and I purchased that. So it's one of my prized possessions, seeing that I love the Mecca. All right, now let's get going here. We completed 100 already. I had to get my reading glasses. All right, 101 by Jean-Baptiste de la Salle. 1695. Children are guilty of unpardonable rudeness when they spit in the face of a companion. Neither are they excusable who spit from windows or on walls or furniture. I don't know how that qualifies as one of the best things anyone's ever said, but heck, uh, it's in the book, so it must be true. 102, Lily Tomlin. Thank God kids never mean well. Mm. 103, Aristotle. Mothers are fonder than fathers of their children because they are more certain they are their own. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's funny because that's written like circa 300 BC, but that actually could be, uh, that could be like Dave Chappelle or, uh, you know, Adam Sandler uh, humor right there. That's kind of cool. Okay, anyway, 104 by Unknown. There's nothing wrong with teenagers that reasoning with them won't aggravate. True, true. All right, 105, Gore Vidal. This one is a mouthful, so get ready. 105. Young people are more hopeful at a certain age than adults, but I expect that's glandular. As for children... I keep as far from them as possible. I don't like the sight of them. The scale is all wrong. The heads tend to be too big for the bodies, and the hands and feet are a disaster. They keep falling into things, the nakedness of their bad character. We adults have learned how to disguise our terrible character. But children, well, they're like grotesque drawings of us. They should be neither seen nor heard. And no one must make another one. Children, that is. Mm. 106. This is a Hamilton cartoon caption. I tell you I can feel them. They're all around us, young people, getting closer and closer. 107. Dorothy Dix, 1870 to 1951. The reason husband and wives do not understand each other is because they belong to different sexes. Okay. The original men are from Mars, women are from Venus, I guess. But that would be different planets. Where's his hair? I know, I know. It's growing, it's growing. All right, 108. This one is asterisk. Anatole Broyard. There was a time when expecting nothing of children but obedience, as opposed to the present, when we expect everything of them but obedience. Ah, that's pretty wise, pretty wise. It's like somebody bitching about a millennial. Huh? All right. 109, Sam Levinson. The reason grandparents and grandchildren get along so well is that it, they have a common enemy. Ooh. 
reason grandparents and grandchildren get along so well is that they have a common enemy. Sam Levinson, that was biting and hard. I'm going to do this with my W.C. Fields impression. I never met a kid I liked. Ah. You know, he used to say something like, one of his most famous lines in the movies was, Get away from me, kid. You're bothering me. 111. It's a good thing for an uneducated man to read books of quotations. Winston Churchill. Is he making fun of me? Us? For reading a book of quotations? Uh, I don't know. Ralph Waldo Emerson. We're going to end it with this. Number 112. I hate quotations. Okay. I hate them too. Alright guys. Love you. Hope you're having a nice quarantine. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Take good care. All right. See you later. Occupy yourselves. Get some work done. Bye.